everybody. Thanks for stopping by and checking out the card pile. I recently hit up my local card shop here this weekend over at Jaina Sports Cards here in Lafayette, Indiana. And Jerry's been there for about 30 years and he's a really good dude. But he's moved more towards the newer products and stuff like that. He still has a little bit of vintage in there. A couple in the showcases, a little bit of everything, football, basketball. Very limited hockey, though. Um, but he has some quarters, dimes, and uh, dollar boxes that... I like to rummage through. There's like maybe one of each or something like that. But anyway, I always find some hidden gems in there. At least to me, they're hidden gems. And so I went there this weekend and picked up a few things. And the first thing I picked up was this 1964 Tops Minnesota Twins team card. Uh, the first thing that caught my eye was the bright color. It's just a really good looking card. It's in pretty decent shape. Back's fairly clean little off center but it's the front that just pops I mean that's just a good looking card right there the second card I picked up was 1966 Gil Hodges when he's the manager for the Washington Senators always liked old Gil Hodges as a player for the Dodgers even though I hated the Dodgers still do to this day but still Gil Hodges I liked him he was a hard-nosed player played with grit so yeah I, I really respected his game and I'm glad he finally made it to the Hall of Fame and he's got that Gil Hodges scowl that's pretty neat then I grabbed from 1967 tops the American League strikeout leaders with Hall of Famer Jim Cott in the center so yeah anytime you can pick up a Hall of Famer that's pretty cool and I also dig the uh, no logo hats and probably the warm up jacket eh, maybe that's not a jacket Oh, I think it is. I'll have to investigate under the light. Under the microscope, maybe. Then I picked up a 1968, 66, I'm sorry. Burt Campanera's second year card. Card number 175 in the set from 1966. He was a, a pretty solid cog in the uh, championship teams of the uh, athletics in the early 70s. So that's pretty sweet. Then I picked up 1967 Yankees Rookie Stars with Bobby Mercer, a Yankee legend in his own right, World Series uh, unsung hero. So, yeah, picked up a solid Bobby Mercer rookie card right there. Glad to add that to the rookie collection. And then I picked up a couple of Frank Howard's. The first one I picked up is from 1967. Hall of Famer, over 500 home runs. Big Frank the Tank. Here's the back. Card number 255 in the 1967 top set. I uh, can't get the uh, little comics to focus. Well, let's focus on the front. Yep, Frank Howard, Hall of Famer. Also grabbed another one from Frank Howard, but this is 1961 tops. Three glasses for the LA Dodgers. I believe this is his third year card, maybe. This will go nice with the uh, rookie card I have of his. So, yeah, anytime uh, Frank Howard's available, I'm going to try to snatch it up. So, those are the two Frank Howards. And then this uh, last baseball card I picked up. Is a rookie card from 1967, Felix Milan. Now, if the name sounds familiar, it's because I've uh, showed him a couple times in some other videos where he has one of the wildest batting stances ever. And yes, that is his batting stance, and that's how he bats. And, unsurpri and surprisingly, his rookie card, he's throwing. But what's funny about the way he bats is, I mean, this card's just iconic to me. I just love this card. And then his earlier one from this 1971 or 1970, same kind of thing. But uh, he has one of the highest in modern baseball of at-bats to uh, strikeout ratio. That means he, he struck out maybe once every 23 times, if that. I mean, it's a pretty solid average. So, yeah. 
oddball cards. And why not grab his rookie card? So, yeah. Felix Milan. And then uh, I got a couple of uh, other sports cards from 1972. I got the Topps Bill Bradley card from the Knicks. Former Senator Bill Bradley. I believe this is his... Uh, fourth or fifth year, fifth, sixth year. But it's still Bill Bradley card. Hall of Famer, and that's a pretty cool looking card. And I do love the 70s base, uh, basketball and 70s baseball. Then I next, I got from 1989 Hoops, Indiana's hero, Rick Smits. Love the Duncan Dutchman. Yeah, Rick Smits, rookie card. Uh, he was one of the few that wasn't afraid to mess with Shaq. You know, he, he didn't back down from Shaq. He was pretty solid. So, yeah, Rick Smits. Pacer legend right there, bub. And then I grabbed from 1990 Mike Richter rookie card for the New York Rangers. Always liked watching him play. Yeah, Mike Richter rookie card. That's cool. And then the last card I picked up was from 1974 John Matuzak rookie card. Defensive tackle for the Houston Oilers. Um, you might remember him. He uh, played in a couple uh, movies. Most notably, he was Sloth in The Goonies. And then he was also, uh, he, I think he had a TV show where he was some sort of like gym teacher and football coach. And he also taught like social studies or history or something. Basically one of them cheesy high school uh, teenage uh, TV shows. And he was the teacher. So, yeah, John Matusak. When he played for the Raiders, him and Lyle Alzado, they were just, they were just crazy good. Crazy good. But, yeah, John Matusak rookie card. Well, that's what I picked up over the weekend at my local card shop, JNS Sports Cards. Uh, let me know if you have any of these cards. Let me know if you uh, have them graded. You know, I, I don't have any of these graded. Probably wouldn't get m much of a high grade, but. You know, I'm, I'm not above digging on SCG 4s and 5s, 6s. So, yeah, who knows? I might grade them, I might not. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for checking it out. Please like and subscribe, and give me a thumbs up. Thanks.